Well, Britain's largest mortgage lender, Lloyds Banking Group, not to be confused with Lloyds of London, reported a profit for the first time since its acquisition of HBOS, forced the bank to seek a government bailout. With a little bit more on what it means to taxpayers, we partner now with the FT to bring you Lex on Bloomberg. You get a sneak peek at the Financial Times' flagship column a day early. Richard Stove and Bradford joining us now live from London. Richard, always glad to have you with us. So it seems like Lloyd's was able to execute, but there's some concern, is there not, about top-line growth? That's right. I mean, the, the, the bank, which is 41% owned by British taxpayers, who are already sitting on a paper profit of about $2.4 billion, it's turned into profit in this first half, um, mainly through provisions falling in its lousy property lending book. But it's also managed to cut out a good amount of cost, and it's also improved its net interest margin. But top-line growth remains a worry. Um, Eric Daniels says that it's proving quite hard to lend to business, um, and when the CEO says it's hard to lend to business, you can tell he's not just uh, playing to the government, which wants him to lend more to, to business. Net lending is, in fact, pretty flat. Gross lending's up, but net lending pretty grim. So everything's going to have to come from retail customers, I think. And uh, as you can imagine, that's going to be a slower pr process over the next half. So let's look at the bright spots, I guess, Richard. Seems like the right thing to do. Where is the company seeing the most revenue growth? It, seem, it seems to be um, in, in the retail, and, and I think it's expecting a lot more through bank assurance, selling insurance products through its, its branch network. It emphasizes its bricks and mortar branch network because it's looking also for deposits. I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to do better on its margin in the second half, maybe not as big an improvement as we saw in this last half, where it's gone from, I think, 1.82 a year ago to about 2.08 in the first half this year. But I think we're still going to have um, trouble. There's going to be a core um, business banking group that it's going to have to rely on heavily. But it's, it's also exiting a business banking book, which accounts at the moment for about 20 percent of revenue. So it's just going to have, a run, have to run a little bit harder all across. Uh, Richard, we're familiar with this connection between taxpayers and the banks. So what does the latest mean for U.K. taxpayers? What is? Sorry, I missed that. I was going to say, what is the connection or what does it mean for UK taxpayers? We have about 15 seconds left, Richard. Sorry to put you on the spot. Well, taxpayers are basically the government bailed this out. They paid 20 billion and they're sitting on a 2.4 billion profit. We just need a lot more capital, though, before it can pay out Richard, to taxpayers again. Thank you very much, Richard Stove and Bradford, joining us there from the FT from London.